Libra, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for mid-August 2022 and I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate with all of you. If they do, there's an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Libra. <clears throat> The uh, overall energy for the reading, the judgment card, it could be, I mean, there's changes, there's good changes coming into play here. There's definitely a sense of transformation here. There could be some decisions made on your part in regards to a situation. I feel like you've got the proper energy to make those decision decisions. Um, in Starting off the reading, you get the King of Pentacles crossed by the Hermit. There's a whole lot of healing happening currently on your side, and I feel like it revolves around um, some sense of stability, maybe that you've got going on with somebody else, maybe your own, you know, I don't know. But there's definitely healing around that, so that tells me growth. Um, in your focus here, you got the magician, so you're definitely in... Um, manifesting mode in the recent past the six of wands a sense of success here uh in your strength the ace of cups definitely a brand new beginning in love um in the immediate future knight of pentacles moving forward slowly but surely almost strategically moving forward it's like you're uh, uh like you're having a plan in place without even having a plan in place kind of a thing and you're just kind of pursuing that which feels like a good energy supporting this reading the empress again the energy of that inner knowledge that sense of you know your radar is on point kind of a thing so whatever it is you're mixed into right now it feels good it feels like you're on the right path the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it the hangman hmm interesting uh, i feel like there's a whole lot more of standing back before acting on your part that you may not be aware in terms of not throwing yourself in every little thing and just not going there with with that sense of let me let me take a shot here let me take a shot there let me in this energy that you're moving forward with it's more like even though it feels open and it feels like maybe you are kind of going along with whatever's happening there's also a, a little bit in your energy that kind of pulls you back uh and not in a bad way in a reflective way in a hmm let me give this a minute you know and then just kind of pursuing it because it feels right uh so there's there's pauses here and there but that's not bad you know, it's not it's not coming in as something bad. It's actually quite beneficial for, for this experience. In your hopes and fears, um, the Ace of Wands, really keeping up um, on a, uh, in a good direction here. And in the potential outcome, the um, King of Cups. Love, love is coming through. Let's clarify, let me clarify the judgment. <clears throat> King of Swords, Ten of Wands, Six of Swords. Right. Yeah, it's like I see you walking, I see your energy walking, and then things that don't serve you kind of fall off where you don't even have to really address them and be like, hey, go away from my life. No, it's just you're taking this route and then things that just don't match you, don't belong with you on this route, they just kind of fall off uh, organically. Um, at times I see you seeing those things and it doesn't feel necessarily nice. Uh, like recognizing them, but you still go. You're still kind of on this. This is where I want to go. This is where I'm heading. Yeah, things might fall off here and there, but it is what it is kind of a thing. Interesting. 
Uh, let's do the King of Pentacles. There's lots of King energy in here. Lots of King. And at the core of it, there's the Empress, which makes this for a good, interesting mix. All right, let's see here. For the King of Pentacles, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups. Yeah, this could be somebody tied up to you. And again, it's like side by side with you. Um, it's a good energy. It's a constructive one. It's a stable one. It feels like it feels like this connection is reborn, kind of a thing. But I feel like a lot of it is because you've been healing a lot, and you're kind of perceiving things in a different way, and you're taking the situation in a different way, and you're bringing that healing energy to it, which kind of makes it look new every time, kind of a thing. There's still some things um, that are worked on here in this dynamic or whatever this, it's kind of like a team or a kind of a thing. It could be love, it could be work, I don't know what it is, but it's a functional kind of, it still has, you know, little things um, to heal. Let's do the Hermit, but overall it's a functional kind of a collaboration in whichever way that is for you. For the Hermit, you get the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Magician. Wow, there's a whole lot of happiness you're manifesting here. It's that emotional uh, balance, that whole sense of a stable, happy environment for yourself. That's what you're in the middle of manifesting. And that comes through where you're not even doing it consciously. It's because you're healing so much. And it kind of brings that energy in without you even having to acknowledge it 100% from the mind perspective at least. Your soul knows, your soul is in tune with this energy, definitely. It's a really cool manifestation here. Let's do the Magician in your focus. <laughs> and then you're showing up on the surface kind of like, what the hell should I be manifesting? I don't even know what I want, I don't even know. You know, there's that surface Libra that comes into the play with the mind and then it kind of gets confusing here and there. It kind of gets like, what, what the hell is she talking about? Like, I feel like, okay, things are good, whatever. But like, where am I going? What am I doing? I don't know. You know, there's that kind of a sense to it, uh, which is quite funny. Because you, I just came from your soul, which was showing me like a clear manifestation point towards happiness. And then I tune into the, the mental Libra and I'm like, oh shit, what's going on here? Um... So there is a little bit of sense of, I don't know what I want kind of a thing, you know, at a mental level for you. I don't know, the energies are showing up a little different, kind of like if you would follow that path and kind of stay in tune with what's going on there inside of you, you don't even need to know. You know, it's, it's a sense of happiness um, that you're being led towards. Let's do the Ace of Cups. The more you stay in the mind in the I don't know, the, the uh, more complicated it's going to get for you. For the Ace of Cups, seeing your strength, you get the Five of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Temperance card. Okay, so you're hoping for love here, but you're also scared that it's not going to happen. Uh, you have been working on this fear for quite a while. That's where the Judgment stands. Um, <clears throat> where it's very a very transformative kind of an energy that's coming through, uh, but you're still you're still in the fear of maybe it's not gonna happen, you know, at times, not all the time. It's not as, um, it's, it's not taking a hold of you, this fear, not anymore, it used to, but you're at the point of, okay, I know it's there, I know it's there. Okay, it's still coming in, still working with it, you know, cause it's still kinda in the way of this desire towards love that you have. Let's do the Knight of Pentacles. In the immediate future, the Page of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's good energies here. I don't know who this King of Pentacles is to you. They are showing up as a, a stable figure in your life, which I don't know what that is to you. Um, it could even be you. It could even be your energy. There's definitely a whole lot of... Um, collaboration between you and this energy so even if it's yours it's kind of like you're feeding this energy a lot you're giving to this energy a lot and it does surround a sense of stability 
Um, so it could be work or something tied up to that, but there's also a whole lot of passion in there and a whole lot of following certain steps to it. So again, it kind of seems strategic without even having to draw a map for it necessarily, you know? Um, it's a good balanced energy. There is a lack of heart in there, a little bit of a lack of heart, but you are working with that fear to, to unblock your heart. So it's kind of, it, it still works for now. It may need a little heart juice at some point. This whole dynamic, this whole situation. Let's do the Empress in a supportive energy. The High Priestess, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Swords. This is one of those things where it's like, you know, I know that if I approach this situation in this way, it's going to turn into an argument, but I can't help it kind of a thing. And it's not that you can't help it, you don't want to, because there's definitely a sense of knowledge on your part. Like, I know for a fact that if I throw myself in this particular situation like this, it's going to be a shit show. I'm kind of going to do it anyway, kind of a thing. It's shown up like that. Now, I don't know what situation this is referring to. If it's the same one tied up to that King of Pentacles, if it's another one, I have no idea. Um, or if it's a general, even a general kind of a kind of an energy where you tend to approach certain things in certain ways and you know that it might create a little bit of commotion, but you still kind of do it. I see your intuition trying to prevent you there. But I see the mind coming in and saying, well, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway, kind of a thing. So this might be something you may want to look into because it does create commotion and I don't know how good that feels for you, you know? Let's do the hangman in the hidden energies. The page of cups, the death card, the two of cups. See, through all of these energies here and there, you're kind of pointing me towards, I want love, but love is not coming. Love is not here. I want that kind of a love that everybody gets to experience at least one time in their life. There's something tied up to love. And I'm sure you have love in your life. It's just a matter of, it's kind of like you're going, you're, you're, you're brushing right around it kind of a thing. It's there, you have it, you feel it, but you still want it kind of a thing, which is telling me you're, you, you don't really, you're not really in its grasp. You are, but you're not. And that's what you're kind of pulling yourself back from. Um, manifesting love, wanting love, kind of staying back. Not really sure how to, to go towards it. Because again, there's a sense of, man, I miss it all the time. And it's right there. Like, how do I miss it? It's like doing this, you know, through it. And it's like right here. And you're like... Where is it? What, what the hell is this? You know, kind of a thing. It's quite interesting. Hmm. Let's do the Ace of Wands. Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Fool. Again, same kind of a sense, like... You're ready to go for it, but you're not, but it's here, but it's not. You're open if it's here, but it's not here. But at the same time, you see it and you go for it and you're not getting it. What the hell is this about? Let's do the King of Cups and the potential outcome. Five of Swords, Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. So love is here. I got it now. Love is here. Your pain is what's preventing you from seeing it and touching it and experiencing it in the way that it should. That's why it's here and it's not here. Because I'm like, it's here. What, what, what's, what's going on? Um, I see the energy of love. I see someone carrying it. But whether or not someone is carrying it, the energy of love is here, definitely in front of you. That's why there's deception tied up to this, because it's like it's here, but it's not here. Because it is here, and then there's your pain, and then because of that pain, you're kind of blocking it. 
So you can be here and you can do this all you want. If you're functioning from that place of pain, you're certainly gonna go through it. You know, your, your hand is gonna go right through it and it's gonna be like, what? I thought it was here. It's kind of like an illusion, like a cloud. Think of it like a cloud that dissipates when, when you touch it, when you grab it. Because again, it's there. If your pain would be out of the way, you would definitely be able to touch it, to grab it, to see it for what it is. So that's why it's here, but it's not here because of your pain. And that pain creates rejection towards love. And even if it it's in front of you presenting itself as a freaking ocean, you'll still, you'll still kind of see it as a desert as long as you carry that pain. Oh man, all right. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Wands. Huh. That Five of Cups showed up, tied up to this King of Pentacles. Who is this to you? There's a connection here, really close to you, that kind of shows up. That in itself is going to show up to me as a deceptive kind of an energy because you're showing me, oh, we're just, you know, yeah, it's someone close to me. I know them. There's more than that to this. It's not just an, I know them. They're important to this whole situation. And it looks like from this situation or within this situation, this could be the situation in which there is love, but there's not love. So that's why you're showing it to me as, yeah, whatever. Mm. And I see it more as whatever, love but not love, you know, kind of a thing. Uh, so I don't know what this is to you, but this is what brought this pain to the surface for you. This didn't create the pain, the pain was there. This brought it to the surface for you. And ever since this pain was brought to the surface, the blockage against love came up too on your side. So that's kind of like when you started to, to see love, but not touch love, but love is there, but it's not there, you know. Interesting. Um, Let's close it off with the Sacred Forest Oracle card for you. Meandering Pathway Flow. You don't have to have all the answers to succeed. You don't need to know what tomorrow holds to have an astounding future. Simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You'll get, you'll get to exactly where you need to be for your highest good. The spirit of the meandering pathway says everything falls into place when you don't resist the flow of the meandering pathway of life. Allow the path to take you where you need to go. Don't hurry it or resist it. Simply let it go. Surrender and enjoy the journey. Cool. Yeah, pretty much. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.